All right, the composition set up. We have the pear, the plate, a little wine glass, and some grapes. And what we're gonna do is concentrate the light at a 45 degree angle along with the plate. This is gonna be the brightest part of the photo, kind of the centerpiece. From here on out as that, I'm gonna expose this less and less. It's darker anyway, so it should be a little bit, a little bit less exposed. And yeah, we're gonna come in with a 45 degree. We'll probably get some light reflections off the grapes and, and a little bit of exposure here, maybe a little hot, you know, HDR look to, to make, give it a little bit of depth and also the background, which will hit the background. So we're gonna continuously play light exposure, most of it here, work it off, hit the back and kind of keep going back and forth. We're gonna save and we're gonna kind of do little touch-ups as, as it goes. So a majority of your light painting is done very quickly it's those little pieces, those little highlight pieces that takes a lot of time. So something like this will probably take 10 or 15 minutes. Most of it will be done within like four or five minutes. But yeah, let's let's stop talking, start getting with the light painting and see how it turns out. Okay, we're done with the light painting. As I mentioned, I hit I hit the, the centerpiece here and gradiated it out, did a lot of different saves. Usually I underexpose these photos and then I boost the exposure later on because if you overexpose or get proper lighting on it, it just doesn't look right. So you got you you lose that dramatic effect. So that being said, is that, as I mentioned, this takes probably three to five minutes and then the touch-up takes a lot longer. But it also looks, I'm going to show you the finished product and actually is sped up by like seven or eight times sped up light painting and then the end product or the, the photo. And it looks vastly different on a canvas screen versus probably the screen you're looking at in a print. And you just know that you do a lot of small tweaks make a huge difference in these types of photos because just a, a little half stop too bright, it just doesn't look right and half stop too dark just looks really flat. So you gotta play with the vibrance, you gotta make sure everything is is spot on. But just know, if you're gonna print, you're probably gonna bump up the exposure by one or two stops. And if you're gonna put it on a really bright HDR screen with high contrast, you're gonna lower it one or two stops. So there you go, I'm gonna show you the sped up light painting and then the end result. If you guys like this stuff, like, subscribe, and I'll see you later.